To the north of Chicago, just across the Wisconsin border, is Safari Lake Geneva, a unique wildlife preserve featuring animals from all over the world. But rather than be confined to cages, they're allowed to roam free, and people can get an up-close experience with them from their cars. Having never done anything like this before, I thought this place would be perfect for one of this channel's travel vlogs. I'm joined by my friend Eric. He's spent the past summer working here and is extremely knowledgeable of the animals. Think of him as like the Dr. Grant to my Ian Malcolm. <laughs> what do they got in here, King Kong? Yeah, right? <laughs> It's a good thing he's at the wheel, because the animals here are known to get up close and in your personal space. Ready? I'm ready. Are we going? Okay. Gotta... So we've arrived. So where are we headed right now, Eric? So right now we are heading into we're heading into the safari. Hold on to those tight. We're about to go over cattle guards. Why does it feel like that? <laughs> because it's, a, it's so it's a cattle guard. So it's a bunch of like pipes essentially. So like, like the animals don't want to step on that because it's uneven ground. So those are ostriches, right? Those are ostriches. Yes. They're like frozen. Is that? Uh, a, are they afraid? Okay. So we can roll the windows down now. All right, so, okay, get, okay. so get ready. What do I do, Eric? So hold the bucket outside oh my the car. God. <laughs> uh, hold it outside the car. Okay, they just, they just, just keep your fingers, you. yep, just keep your fingers clear. They will miss the bowl. See, so yeah, right here, I believe this is a Brahma that I'm feeding. Hi, you. Yeah, they just come right up. They, they oh, know yeah. the drill. Oh, yeah, they know. Okay, so that one right there is a female ostrich. Because of the lighter plumage. Yep. And we do, we have six females and one, and one male. There you go. So you can just roll the window back up slowly. <laughs> yeah, they do that. <laughs> wow, that was insane, man. Right? Yeah. Are those alpacas up there? Those are alpacas, yes. We have both alpacas and llamas here. Hello there, my friend. How are you doing today? <laughs> the Elander are unique in the fact that they have both male, and so the, both the males and the females have horns. <laughs> Whereas usually just the females have, or usually just the males have the horns. Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow. So these guys are the largest and the slowest species of antelope. He is um, just gonna take it away. He yep. just took it from me. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> this one scares me because this guy just sucks it all out of the Oh dish. yeah. Well, even that one's chill. The one you had earlier was like sucking it up. You sure about that, Eric? I'm really sorry about your car. Nah, man. it's fine. <laughs> I went. I expected this. this is... All right, and he's just gonna take it away. Okay, I think we can. I think we can move on. I see another car coming. I love those guys. Those they look like people. <laughs> they all pack. Honestly, us. <laughs> <laughs> if you look over there, you guys can see our. We have two dromedary camels and one Bactrian. All right, it appears one of our dromedaries is corpsing on the ground, as we call it. What does it mean to corpse? That means he's like essentially lying on the ground and just flopped like a corpse. Yeah, he kind of does look dead. Yeah, yeah, I see the, the alpacas and the llamas do it too. We're only just getting started with the animals in the preserve. Before we do any more, let me give you some history on this place. According to the Safari's website, this ranch is the brainchild of Wisconsin's foremost exotic animal expert, Jungle J. Christie. Christie long had the dream of allowing animals to roam a vast acreage with visitors able to see them in their more natural habitats. Now, it's easy to get a little worried about how a setup like this could go terribly wrong, but the animals are all well looked after and there are clear instructions on how to safely navigate the ranch. Also, there's no carnivores here, so none of the animals have to worry about getting eaten. Ooh, and over here you can see we have, so those are, those two right there, those are a species of antelope called Nilgai. They're the largest Indian breed of antelope. We have 18 Nilgai. <laughs> that guy up there looks beautiful. Yes, that is a Nyala. It is an African species of antelope, and it is known for having the most striking difference between males and females. That one is a male. I haven't seen this guy close up before. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Did they ever just like ram their nose into the window and just I, like crack through it? I have <laughs> never had that happen. <laughs> now, what are they eating there, Eric? So those, that's just kind of grass. Don't demon say. llama! <laughs> <laughs> okay, demon llama, I mean you no harm. So there are the pigs. There's the pigs. Got a friend. <laughs> Hello, my good sir. Oh, do you want some of this? Yes, you may. I believe that that one is Hank. 
Oh, look at that guy itching himself. Oh. Wow, I didn't even know they could like bend like that. Oh yeah, they, they're they weirdly flexible. Hi. The pig looks just like my cat. Yeah. Pierre. Yeah. <laughs> look at the babies. Oh, look at the babies. Hello, my friend. Hello, child. Anything? No? They actually don't care. <laughs> I pulled too far. Oh, Nick. <laughs> Here he comes. I think this one's Harley. Hey, buddy. Can I uh, can I interest you in some food? A little too close. A little too close. Okay, big guy. <laughs> okay. Yep. What'd I tell you? <laughs> what I tell you? This guy's infamous for it. <laughs> This guy wants something. Oh yeah. <laughs> save some, save some, Nick. We're still, we've, that's our last bowl. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, they, they're not letting me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Before we get to the end of our safari and meet our friendliest animal yet, let me also add that this place is very concerned with animal conservation. According to their website, their primary goal is to raise awareness about the issues animals face and better educate people on them. They cite research indicating that the more you know and care about a species, the more likely conservation action will follow. Oh, look, there's an emu. <laughs> The emus kind of make me nervous. Yeah? Not gonna lie. Is he making his way downtown? Walking fast? Uh, don't they fast? have a bit of a uh, reputation? Not as much as the cassowary. The emus are, the emus, I, I've seen are pretty chill. He's coming in. Uh, he's letting me know <laughs> He's fast. coming in. <laughs> Personal space. <laughs> Not man. like this. Come on. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Look Holy at that. Crap. That is cool. You're weird. Beautiful, but you're weird. You're so cute. It is. I love you, Moose. <laughs> Hello. Use a finger. Yeah, just keep the fingers out of the way when he's eating. I don't usually see them come up. This is a rare occasion. Because he wants to be a star. Obviously. <laughs> Indeed, of course. Did you know that they have the smallest wing to body ratio of any bird? Yeah, their wings are like this big. Big. Yeah, yeah, that big. Yeah. <laughs> I did, did I not have the right camera. Well. All right, so Eric, is this a special behavior the giraffe to the right is doing? Uh, yes, kind of. So essentially, the thing is with giraffes is that they don't assume this stance very often because it's a very vulnerable stance for them to assume. Okay. However, due to the lack of trees on in this area and the fact that there's no predators, our giraffes feel comfortable doing that. That Jeep is like giving me Jurassic Park vibes. Yeah, that one's fun because uh, so the zebras like to flock around them and they think it's like a, they, we, we are convinced that they think it's a big zebra. Wow, I got a lot of Oh, meat. it is quite the mess in here. Yeah, yeah, it's, but I went in expecting that. So that basically concludes our trip, and it was absolutely fantastic. I feel so much closer to the natural world now. By the way, those giraffe's tongues totally look like Jar Jar's, and now that you know that, you can't unsee it.